Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. Well, it is time for our October sheet maintenance, which is checking for worms and trimming their hooves. We have a new deck chair to try this time, which hopefully will make it better. Welcome to Homestead, guys. All right, well, your turn. <laughs> Welcome to the Homestead. I have a, here a deck chair from Premier One for sheep. We've not got to use it yet, obviously, so we're going to try to use it for the first time today. Oh. We're falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deck chair put together it was fairly easy it took some muscle from Sam to be able to pull the net tight but I'm anxious to put it to use all right where are we gonna lean it up against um or how much we can do that. We can lean against the gate. Okay. Try that. I know how to get inside. Have you got all the tools you need? We're just doing hoof trimming and checking their eyes today. So that should be it. Okay. All right. Well, here, do this. And then you kind of pick them up and set their butt down right there. There. Take a break. Oh yeah. That was a lot easier. As long as you don't flip out. But... Yeah, their feet need done. Take a load off, Huey. Or Bandit, whichever one you are. Oh, it's Huey. Come here, Elijah. Come on uh, here. Just put your hand here and help hold them down. Everybody look happy. Say sheep poop. Sheep poop. <laughs> Good job, Elijah. Thank you. He's trying to nail on my shirt. Sheep poop. You got him? I'll move the camera if you got him. Sheep poop. You don't have to push down real hard. Just enough to where he doesn't think he can just hop out. Can you like pick him up two legs so we can try and... Which way you want to roll him? That way? <laughs> That's about as good as it gets. I'll hold him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> doing, doing, doing. Isaac, back up. You're going to scare him. Back up. I'm able to do their feet much better this way. Well, good. It's well worth the investment. These clippers were well worth the investment. They're much easier on your back, isn't it? It is. Hang on his legs down there. Okay, I'm just gonna move Dave because he almost knocked it all the way hang down. On, hang on, hang on. We gotta pick up together. You ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Okay. So here we have a Famacha scorecard. Famacha is used to show if their sheep are anemic or not and can kind of guide you on whether you need to worm them or not. So this needs to be done periodically to make sure that your sheep are doing well and don't need wormed. And it's time for our sheep to get done. Alright, we done with him? Yep. Alright. 
Mel. Bandit ran out, so we had to go chase and him around the other pasture and get him in. So what we end up doing, Angela ended up doing, is just getting a scoop of feed and just letting them all back in the barn again. So it's a full house again. We got two left to do, Smokey and Bandit. This will be fun. You want me to try? Where is Bandit? Okay, he's in the corner. He's Brandon. the one that likes to kick. Alright. He's the one that's kicked me several times. He's also the one I tell you when you get rid of. Go guys. Hold on. Wait. Can you get smoky? Yeah. This is Huey. Isn't it? A little help would be nice. Oh, I didn't know you had smoky. <laughs> I'm trying to identify a sheep. You should get rid of that one. There we go. <laughs> How many more you want to get? Another 50 of these? That's how I'm like, let's do cows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Either that or if we get more sheep, we got to have a chute system, a head gate, all that, all that stuff. The ring on these and grab them is dumb. This is easier than what we did before, though. Mm -hmm. okay. The deck chair is worth it. Don't you think? Oh, most definitely. I know at first we looked at building one out of conduit or, you know, stuff like that. Oh, gosh, you got me in the side. I know. Hang on, legs. Here. One, two, three. There. <laughs> there. Yeah. It sounds like an old man. Oh, he got me. Yep. Got a hoof print on. <laughs> so I know we looked at building stuff, like you get from Lowe's. We can't get anything this sturdy from them. It ain't going nowhere. Moose, you're happy now because you know you're done, right? Get that straw off you. I'd hold, yeah, because he is a kicker. <laughs> Just like that. Just let him kick. I went up taking it to the face. They're like, my legs have gone to sleep. Probably. <laughs> Alright, let them on out. Come on out, look, look, pasture's open. That was rough. I'm glad I had Sam to help me this time. <laughs> um, truthfully, the deck chair did a big, made a big difference. It helped a lot and kept them in place. They still kicked a lot, so I still feel like it's a two-man person. Two-man two man person. person. Two-man job. <laughs> One to hold them down and the other to cut. But overall, I'm very pleased with it. All the sheep have been clipped and checked for worms, so now we're going to load up the hayloft with all the hay that we picked up in Tennessee yesterday. Try and push it 
That's about the crappiest thing ever. How you real farmers do this? Probably not by hand. Probably by a tiny tool. Yep, that's it. How many more is gonna fit up there? No. What do you think? <laughs> That's pretty much what I did. Don't want to talk. Don't want to breathe. All you're doing is spitting out your spit because it's full of hay. My beard's now twice as thick. I think it's time for shower number two. Anybody wants to do this for fun or a living, we gotta be crazy. Why in the world do we do this? Because it's better than sitting in an apartment in the city. For us, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, that air-conditioned apartment sounds real nice. There you go, that's loaded. Go get some thoughts to the camera. Share your feelings and your heinous over there. Do I look heinous? Wait, wait, wait. Heinous. Hang on, I got it. What's that painting? American Gothic or whatever? The man and the woman in front of the farmhouse. And they look just mad as snot. Now I know why. <laughs> they just finished loading a hay barn. That's what they did. Without the little elevator thingy. Right, right. <laughs> now we understand. We should get a copy of that. Remind us. We'll put it in the hay barn. Hayloft, whatever this is. I think gardening's starting to look a lot better. I don't mind tilling in the dirt now. No, that's just as bad. It's just <laughs> as bad. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed a little look into what it's like to be a sheep farmer. And we are just small scale. Six head of sheep is all we got. You can definitely see why any kind of larger operation invests in the proper handling, sorting equipment for the sheep. So you just <laughs> bring them up to you, rotate them around, spin them, and done. If we get into larger, we're going to go that route. If anybody's wondering, the male sheep that we have, the four bigger ones, are about 200 pounds, and the small girls we have are about 150. Yep, which would also bring up another question of um, none of our male sheep are rams. They're all snipped, so they're called weathers. Uh, we have two girls that we haven't yet bred. They're still a little young, aren't they? No, so they could have been done this year. Yeah. All right. Could have been done this year. We just don't have the space for it right here. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Too much hay. <laughs> Leave some for the sheep now. Uh, At this point, I don't know if we'll breed them. <laughs> we can't hear. Can't do that here for sure. So, what else? If you're That's thinking about, about sheep, hit rewind. Watch this video again. <laughs> and when you finish it, hit rewind and watch it again. And make sure you really want to have sheep. Now, last year, we went and got a round bell, for those of you who haven't watched. And the sheep didn't eat it quick enough, and it molded. Yeah. So, we ended up having to get rid of it, and we went with square bells. We would just literally go and buy two square bells at a time every from, week. From the local feed and seed store, which is high priced. Yeah. Compared to what you can get. Sometimes you know, double the, the price. Yeah. So that's why we decided this year to go to a local farm and buy the hay. This is 16 bales, which should last eight weeks. Oh, gosh. <laughs> we get to have more fun in eight weeks. Oh, only eight weeks away. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. You might see something new with the sheep. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.